It's 1993, and I'm blowing out the candles to my birthday cake as I hear my family and friends singing happy birthday. Immediately after blowing out my candles, I looked up at the crowd surrounding me with a nervous smile, and my parents handed me a beautifully wrapped present. But what was inside? As I unwrapped my gift, I found a miniature adult-looking figurine on a bike staring at me. The box was pink and perfectly squared with sharp edges. At the bottom, I saw big white letters that read the name Barbie and a Mattel logo underneath. Hello class, my name is Jessica Bishop, and I will talk about the woman who created and brought to life Barbie. Her name was Ruth Handler. Through extensive research, I will discuss three aspects of Mrs. Handler's life. First, her personal life. Second, her business life. And third, her legacy. Ruth Handler was born Ruth Moscow in Denver, Colorado on November 4, 1916. She was the youngest of 10 children born from Jewish Polish immigrants. Her mother was named Ida Moscow and her father was Jacob Moscow, who was a blacksmith by trade. Ida Moscow birthed Ruth Moscow when she was 40 years old. She became ill shortly after and sent Ruth to live with her elder sister, Sarah. Ruth grew up working in her family's drugstore, and according to JWA.org encyclopedia, this is where she began her enthusiasm for business. She had a preference to work over play. It was in 1932, Mrs. Ruth Moscow met and fell in love with Izzy Handler. Ruth Moscow attended the University of Denver in 1935 and in 1936. Soon after, she moved to California and took a secretarial role at Paramount Studios. Her boyfriend at the time followed her to California, but it was not until 1938 when Ruth and Izzy married in Denver, Colorado. The couple had two children together. Mrs. Ruth Hamley urged her husband to drop his first name Izzy and to go by his middle name, Elliot. According to the New York Times, Mrs. Handler was diagnosed with breast cancer in 1970 and underwent a mastectomy. On April 27, 2002, at the age of 85, Ruth Handler died at Century City Hospital in Los Angeles of complications following colon surgery. Next, according to American National Biography, in 1942, the Handlers owned a small furniture business that took on a large order for plastic frames. This is around the time President Roosevelt announced plastics would be restricted, restricted to military use only. The handlers were desperate and had to come up with an idea quickly. This is when they decided to use low-grade wood to make the frames. The wooden frames became a hit and their original order was then doubled. The handlers decided it was time to give their business an official name. Their partner was Matt Matson, and they used Matt from his last name and then added L from Elliot Handler's first name. Combined, they came up with the name Mattel, a name that generations around the world would come to know. According to Mattel, Ruth Handler saw her daughter playing with paper dolls for hours. She noticed how the paper clothes would not stay on the doll and had limited mobility. This sparked an idea to create a 3D doll for girls to play with. According to JewishVirtualLibrary.org, in 1959, a doll with an adult body and massive wardrobe was born. Ruth Handler named the doll Barbie, derived from her daughter's name, Barbara. Barbie was not immediately received by the public as many believed the doll was indecent due to the size of its breasts and overall body measurements. In fact, according to the New York Times, Barbie was invented to resemble a sex toy called Lily that was sold at the time in Germany. Despite receiving criticism, Ruth Harold continued to advocate for the doll and ended up winning the hearts of millions of little girls around the world. Soon after, Barbie's boyfriend, Ken, named after Ruth Handler's son, Kenneth, was born. In 1965, Mattel was on the Fortune 500 list. Lastly, according to Mattel Media, 58 million Barbies are sold annually and in 150 countries worldwide. Barbie holds over 200 inspirational careers, from being a ranger to an astronaut to a journalist and even a professional cyclist. We continue to see the image of Barbie on TV commercials and now Barbie has her own Instagram. I'm sure Ruth Handler never would have thought in her wildest dreams that her legacy would continue to live on in little girls' playrooms. In conclusion, I have discussed Mrs. Ruth Handler's personal life, her professional life, and her legacy. A quote from Ruth Handler, My whole philosophy of Barbie was that through the doll, the little girl could be anything she wanted to be. Barbie always represented the fact that a woman has choices. Thank you.